Hey guys. Hey guys. Welcome back to the Alcohol Free RV. It's Christmas time. It's cold. And so I'm going to do something that you probably haven't seen. Um, this is my first time ever seeing this. So what I've got here, let's see if I can I got a thermal imaging camera. So I rented this from Home Depot for uh, the evening. I just kind of want to see what our RV looks like as far as heat is concerned. And it's... Uh, it's negative five degrees outside, so um, wonder what we'll what we'll find. So, uh, as you can see, the framing members. So the the dark blue parts are the coldest parts. Um, <clears throat> anything that is kind of yellow or uh, kind of orange or yellow, that's going to be the part that's uh, warmer. And all of these framing members are in blue so those are cold spots and basically that's because there's no insulation in, in the uh, aluminum frame that these RVs are built out of I'm trying to figure out how to operate both of these things at the same time here but yeah lots of framing members but overall uh, kind of what I would <clears throat> expect to see in an RV bedroom um, pretty much just the framing it looks like it's insulated fairly well actually um, considering it's a four season camper I would hope so uh, this is a little bit interesting so uh, it's indicating that the top of this is pretty warm 78 82 degrees probably because heat wants to escape out of that um, so I might consider sealing that up and of course, there's the vent that comes in. Um, so sealing that up might be an, a pretty good idea to do um, anytime you're going to be in the, the cold weather, even if it's just temporary. The uh, vents aren't too bad, actually. Um, it gives you kind of a scale here. So if I can point at the thing, um, you know, it's in the 70s. So not too bad. We have the thermostat set to 68 I think no 71 <clears throat> yeah and it's set to 71 so um, it's kind of kind of cool because it works in the dark and you can kind of see everything um, so yeah nothing too exciting here uh, even on the outside wall of the RV that's the outside wall of the shower not too bad not too bad at all Oh, you know what I didn't show you is the floor. So the floor on the front of our RV here, I just realized I am recording this all in uh, portrait mode. So sorry about that. We'll see if uh, I can figure out how to make it nice and viewable. Okay, <clears throat> apparently we're out of water. Again, big framing member. You got some coldness there, but the outside wall. There you see where our speaker is on the outside, and a light, and the other speaker. So, obviously, when they install the speakers, they need to put some insulation or cut out some of the insulation to support the speaker. So, there's that. Overall, the kitchen is pretty good. Just the corners of the uh, the slide, and again, we got the framing members, and uh, right on the bottom edge here, um, there's a lot of a lot of cold that gets uh, is looks like it's seeping out of the closets there. You can see where the framing, the the cross beams on the uh, RV frame are. These are indicated by these lighter lines or darker lines here those are about 67 degrees moving on this room is uh, the one that we've struggled the most to get chilled or warmed up it is chilled <laughs> oops uh, that so was totally intentional totally totally 
Uh, so we have 68.4 degrees. We've got, uh, I think about 900 watts worth of space heating assisting the uh, vent, which furnace is running. The vent is on and it's, uh, it's trying to snap to the coldest spot right now. I could, I could change that, but you can tell that, you know, it's blowing warm air, but I did find that it's only about 60, sorry, uh, 85 degrees. Uh, I measured that earlier. Compared <clears throat> to the 166 in the living room one. Yeah, it's 160 some odd degrees in the living room. So the the length of the vent or ductwork to get here really cools things down. It's not super insulated on our underbelly. Uh, we can see in the corner there that we've got some cold seeping through. As well as here in the... Uh, back wall this is behind the outdoor kitchen so it could be insulated a little bit better but there are some insanely cold spots up here I'm talking 27 28 degrees there's no insulation in there whatsoever and it's just small spaces because a lot of the a lot of the wall is warmer uh, 52 degrees you know Maybe a little extra insulation would be nice, but 28 degrees. And over here, let's see if we can get this. This is harder to do than I thought. Uh, we're talking 19. And if we point down there, 14 degrees. Uh, seriously lacking insulation in that corner. So I am going to try to figure out, and there will be a video in the future, on what I might be able to figure out to... To seal that up, I might have to rent or buy a FLIR myself. Um, but yeah, framing members. And then, when I jump down from here, uh, we've got another big section here uh, that is significantly cooler than the rest of the uh, wall. So if I can figure out how to seal that up, put some insulation, spray foam, something maybe, um, and probably help, but the spaces around the edges, um, can't really tell if this is air leakage or whether this is just a result of the, um, I don't know if it's just the result of the framing bits that are in the wall there next to the slide. Uh, and then a little bit of, a little bit of cool coming in underneath the slide a little bit, so... Yeah, definitely some, some opportunities, and that is about what, um, oh, yeah, there's a couple more tests. So, here we have, uh, let's see if I can, alright, so that is the Reflectix behind Plexiglass, um, and it is keeping about 50-ish degrees, which isn't terrible, uh, but the bottom, um, where the zoom in here with this at the bottom and you know it doesn't seal very well you can see the uh, handle and how it doesn't quite seal very well that part gets pretty cold so let's see if we can yeah so cold spots definite cold spots and then sorry about all the shaking this is kind of impromptu. Uh, here we have our framed windows. So the plexiglass is 41 degrees. Um, I don't know if we can get that there. There is plenty of frost on that window. Somebody had a, a question recently on the video where I created these. So yeah, frost is not eliminated completely. Yeah, I think I uh, may have accidentally stopped recording there. Um, but we're gonna do a quick check here. Capture the cold. Okay. Uh, hey Simon, can you come here? Hold my camera. 
Get the uh, fear readable. That's real cold. It is real cold. There's something. There we go. 1.4. Yep, that's that's the actual metal frame. <coughs> that's behind the screen. And then that's the glass. So apparently the screen is making it difficult to get an accurate representation of the temperature. But whoa! Oh, close man there. Yep. It's a good thing there's magnets. Yep. Alright. So then we can see Kitty. She's really very warm. Yeah. Even outside the fur, she's like room temperature. Yep. 76 degrees. So. So yeah. I thought that'd be a fun experiment. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Yeah. I thought that'd be a fun experiment. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, definitely gives me something to look forward to uh, fixing some things. Because that's what I do here. So hopefully you're having a great end of year. And we'll see you in 2023.